We are celebrating Ozone Day on September 16. On this uh, September 16 for 2021, we the theme for our Ozone Day is Ozone for Life. First, we are going to know about what is ozone layer. The ozone layer is a thin part of the Earth atmosphere that absorbs most, almost all the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. Ozone holes are popular names for areas of damage to the ozone layer. Ozone layer damage is more like a really thin patch than a hole. Most ozone resides in the stratosphere where it acts as a shield to protect Earth's surface from the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation. Within a weakening of this shield, we could be more susceptible to skin cancer, cataracts, and impaired immune systems. Did you know that the ozone layer is essential for life to exist? Its molecules act as a shield protecting us from solar radiation when the radiation reaches the ozone layer, it passes through the ozone molecules and these are responsible for returning part of radiation back to space. In this way, the radiation that reaches us is minimized. What will happen when ultraviolet rays come to Earth? Fortunately, the Earth atmosphere protects us from most UV radiation. The atmosphere does little to shield these rays. Almost UVA radiation reaches the Earth's surface. UVA rays cause skin aging and eye damaging and can lower your body's ability to fight off illness. UVA rays can contribute to the risk of skin cancer. More, much more UV radiation is absorbed and less reaches the Earth. UV rays are higher closer to the equator. Close to the equator, the sun rays have a shorter distance to travel through the atmosphere and therefore less of the harmful UV radiation can be absorbed. Why is the hole in the ozone layer harmful? Although this hole is due to the natural functions of the ozone in the atmosphere, it also caused by human activities, which emit gases that end up in the stratosphere and degrade the ozone molecules. Increasing the size and effect of the hole in the ozone layer, this can an environmental and health problem since the excess of solar radiation is a treat to any form of life. Next, we are going to see how we, the human activities are harmful to our ozone layer. What are CFCs? Man-made compounds such as chlorofluorocarbons, hydrofluorocarbons, and halons destroy ozone in the upper atmosphere. The stratospheric ozone layer makes life possible by shielding the Earth from harmful ultraviolet rays, mostly from UVA rays generated from the sun. Stratospheric ozone is formed naturally through the interaction of solar ultraviolet radiation with molecular oxygen. The oxygen layer approximately 6 to 30 miles above the Earth's surface, reducing the amount of harmful UV radiation reaching the Earth's surface. 
we are harmful to we our activities are harmful to the ozone layer by deforestation uh the produce production of cfcs oil and petrol engines radiation absorbed by greenhouse gases greenhouse gases and fossil fuels by we are uh, these all are produced by our human activities so we in these ways we are uh harmful our activities are harmful to the ozone layer where do all these cfcs come from so cfcs means Fluoro fluorocarbons, aerosol sprays, making foam packaging, coolants in fridge and air conditioners, cleaning solvents. So we are thinking that how this uh, aerosol sprays are harmful to our ozone layer. Hmm? We are using the aerosol sprays every day. We are using air fresheners, body sprays. When this um aerosol spray molecule it is coming like a droplet to the outside of that can and these molecules can remain in the atmosphere for a long time it means up to a 20000 years these molecules can remain in our atmosphere the polar foam lock 2040 reduces the ozone depletion potential by 100 percentage with an odp value of 0 ozone depletion potential is a number that refers to the amount of ozone depletion caused by a substance how can we protect the ozone layer up to these slides we uh, realized how we are destroying how our activities are destroying the ozone layer and now we can uh see how the preventive measures that can we can protect the ozone layer first one avoid the consumption of gases dangerous to the ozone layer due to their content or manufacturing process some of the most dangerous gases are chlorofluorocarbons halogenated high carbonate methyl bromide and nitrous oxide second one minimize the use of cars the best transport option is urban bicycle or walking if you see a car to a destination try to carpool with others to decrease the use of cars in order to pollute less and save nowadays if we are going to the supermarket we are using cars hmm? it would be near to our house but we are using cars bike scooters we are using we can change we can change to by by riding bicycles or walking we can go to the supermarket and buy things or if we are going to any place or long uh, drive place if there is three person that three person is using separate car for themselves without that we can try carpool with others to decrease the use of cars in order to pollute less and save the ozone layer third one do not use cleaning products that are harmful to the environment and to us many cleaning products contain solvents and substances corrosive but you can replace these dangerous substances with non toxic products such as vinegar and bicarbonate Four, fourth one, buy local products. In this way, you not only get fresh products, but you avoid consuming food that has traveled long distances. As the more distance traveled, the most nitrous oxide is produced due to the medium use of transport that product. Nowadays, we are ordering food in online. from that restaurants the delivery boy or girl they should come to our house on that long distance we can reduce that and the last tip maintain air conditioners as their malfunctions cause cfc to escape into the atmosphere uh, me know that without this air conditioners we can sleep uh, can't sleep at night right so we are helping this chlorofluorocarbon to escape into the atmosphere we all know that these uh, chlorofluorocarbons are harmful to our 
uh, atmosphere and ozone, but by mistake we are we, we can't we uh, live without these air conditioners, coolers, refrigerators. So we can maintain or we can uh, reduce the use of these atmo um, air conditioners. And when we are putting this air conditioner, we are helping this chlorofluorocarbon to escape into the atmosphere. In this ozone day, we can take a pledge. We can save the ozone, save the planet and save the future. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you very much. Hi dear, I am Arjun. Today we will celebrate World Ozone Day. World Ozone Day is observed on September 16 every year to spread the awareness among people about the depletion of ozone layer and find possible solutions to preserve it. On this day, people from all over the world hold talks and seminars on the ozone layer. Ozone protects the earth from harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun. Without ozone layer in the atmosphere, life on earth would be very difficult. With a weakening of the ozone layer shield, Humans would be more harmful to skin cancer, cataracts, and impaired immune system. So, reduce depletion of ozone, otherwise we will be in the red zone. Happy World Ozone Day!